For my digital story, I examined the concept of community. First, I compared Croatia and America. Some aspects of life in Croatia are very similar to those in America. Both countries share fast food restaurants, purchase the same consumer brands, and love dogs. Of course, some things are very different. For starters, the ice cream is much better in Croatia. Further, the environment is absolutely gorgeous, and Croatia is saturated with a sense of history, both positive and negative, that America lacks. What amazed me the most during this trip, though, was the sense of community present in Croatia. I registered for this course as a way to complete my minor and learn more about international development. Although I was excited to study in Croatia, I had no idea what terms like social work practice or community development meant. I was confused by the term community. I understood what it meant in an academic sense, such as when I referred to it as a subjective term and spoke of its positive connotations or when Dr. Suguara's seminar slides defined community as a web of social relations between people with a shared culture and a shared responsibility, but I couldn't apply the term to my own life. However, after observing the interconnections of Croatian life, I have a new understanding of the word community. In the United States, life is often isolated. Our long working hours, car-oriented culture, and capitalist mentality ensure that we spend most of our time alone, disconnected from family, friends, and community. We eat junk food or microwavable meals because we don't have time to cook, and we order our coffee to go. Living in this environment, it's no surprise that I didn't understand the word community. Croatian culture has a different mindset. Socialization and hospitality are important. For example, the staff in my volunteer site sacrificed a large amount of time and energy to ensure that I had a well-rounded and meaningful experience. Even more impressive is that these efforts were made during the week of Croatia volunteers. Despite the extra time constraint that this week caused, Staff from the Volunteer Center arranged meetings with many local nonprofits, including a nursing home, a support organization for witnesses and victims of crimes, a hospice, and a housing and social group for mentally challenged individuals. Although I enjoyed every educational visit to local nonprofits, the most rewarding experience was a hands on project painting a fence at a local kindergarten. While I was painting, I spoke with local volunteers who told me they had signed up to help paint the fence because helping the community gave them a good feeling. And because the fence was bordered by a busy pedestrian walkway, I watched many local Croatians stop to talk to the volunteers in order to express appreciation that the fence was being transformed. Another aspect of Croatian life that demonstrates community is the culture surrounding food. In the United States, I've never eaten a four-course meal, and I rarely sit down at a table to eat. Usually, I eat a protein bar or fast food on my own. By contrast, in Croatia, I start every day with a huge breakfast. And most meals are social experiences that focus more on building relations than consuming food. A third area of Croatian life that highlights the value of community is simply the public nature of day-to-day -day life. Whether it's the rush of people strolling the promenade or two neighbors talking on their balconies, Croatian social life is far less private than American. This became obvious to me in the nursing home we visited, where several elderly residents joined our tour impromptu. In the tour of the Office for People with Disabilities, where we discussed the importance of integrating this population into the community 
and how living with beneficiaries of the organization was a social positive because of their role as a community neighborhood watch. And further, as I traveled through the streets of Osiak, observing how men would pop their heads out of windows to say hello to strangers, how old friends would meet each other and stop for an hour-long chat over coffee, and by simply noting how many people from Osiak attempted to speak to me, wanting to draw me into the web of community, even though I was a stranger. My time in Croatia has given me a deeper understanding of and appreciation for the meaning of community.